Hi everyone, Brett Beck, High Altitude Scale Models. Today, I'm going to be reviewing something large that just came out. It's this monster right here. Big box. Kraz Trailer T55 Tank. You can see some of the things the box says on it. This is for the truck and the tank, it looks like. This warnings, detailed metal tow cable, detailed external fuel lines, let me put the camera up here and show you some more of the box, hold on, alright, look how thick this box is, this is my hand. And I don't have puny Donald Trump hands either. This side. All the sprues. Three PE, one set of decals. Eight and nine tires, respectively. More parts. All the way across. Alright, around this end of the box, the truck, the tank, what was on this end of the box? Oh, same thing. On this side of the box, looks like it lists everything TACOM has made since they began. I'm assuming that's everything. I probably have seven of these kits but seeing this there's a couple more I'd like I'd like to have this forklift right there and I don't know I'd have to check more out but that for sure I do want to get this mine clearing vehicle don't have those I do have both of these so that Ah, let's tour around the box. Does it say how many parts are in here? It does not. But, let me take the cover off. There you go. This box is full of screws. Directions 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 25 screws, two bags of tires, one top of the turret, one set of track links. Hey, at least you don't have to clean them up, probably. One instruction book for the semi trailer and one instruction book for the tank three frets of PE decals metal cable and I'm guessing this is the fuel line look at that later move this down here let's start with this Resealable bags, always a nice touch. Let me zoom in a little bit, adjust this down a little bit. There we go. Resealable bags. This is going to be part of the truck and trailer, or just part of the trailer. Not sure which yet. This is going to be a long review, so I hope you got time. 
All right. And I like how Tacum does their stamping of the letter of the sprue. This is sprue F. And on this sprue, nice crisp parts. You can tell these are going to be parts of the trailer for going to the fifth wheel part. This is probably the part of the trailer that slides onto the fifth wheel. Ejector pin marks are on the insides. Parts are crisp and clean. Looking like good trailer parts. I do know that the Crass truck itself has been released separately. I've got one of those. And Paul actually started building one that he'll hopefully finish one day. Ooh, let's look at this part. This, is, this looks like the frame for the trailer. Looks like it may be frame for the truck, but you can see down there. I'm going to be adjusting this video. All this crackling is going to drive people crazy. All right. Two parts. Bottom part of the frame. No sprue gates or ejector pin marks on the bottom. They're all on the inside. And let me turn on another light. This would be the top part of the trailer. Nice detailing. It is kind of thin metal. Or not metal. <laughs> Sorry, plastic. I was thinking metal because it's probably made from thin metal. And ejector pin marks on the inside of that. And it looks like this part sits over that part. I'm thinking just like that because it's got little places that snap down. See? There. It's got grooves. There. There. Yeah, pretty much snaps into place. Very nice detail. Very nice touch. You don't have to worry about getting a jig out to keep your frame rail straight on your trailer. Alright, this looks like fenders and a hood slash bonnet for the truck. Yep, you can see the nice beautiful Russian writing right there. Nice framework. Fender detail, hood detail, there are ejector pin marks under the hood. I'm not sure if this has an engine, but we'll find out. But the ejector pin marks are all underneath. You might want to clear them up if, depending on how you're going to display the vehicle. This is sprue K. I like how most of the stuff is bagged separately. So it won't be scratching together. I'm going to try to get the truck parts first and then we'll do the tank parts. This looks like the frame and there is an engine. Excellent. I love detailing engines. If you haven't seen my car builds, or if you have seen my car builds, you do know that. If you haven't seen my car builds, it's a lot, so I like detailing engines. Crisply molded. No burring. There's a little... right here. Ejector pin marker, or projector pin you have to take out. Frame rails look nice. There's only a couple little ejector pin marks inside of those. Engine detail, transmission, block, looks like the heads. All these nice detailed parts. Valve covers it looks like. And I don't, there's perfectly round right there. There's no burring on that at all. Very nice. Alright, what else we got for the truck? We got a roof, steering wheel, a bumper. Roof, front bumper, 
steering wheel. I think these are the frames for the mirrors. <laughs> Be careful I don't break them because here's the mirrors. Looks like the shifter or the turn signal arm. Ooh, look at that dash detail. How yummy is that? Did I just say that? I've been hanging around Ivan too long. And it's got nice visor detail on the roof and stuff, but you have to clean up these ejector pin marks. Wouldn't be hard if you have um, a punch set. You just punch a piece of styrene that size, stick it in there, glue it down, sand it. Looks really nice, but I really like that instrument panel detail. So far, so good. Let's see, those are tank, 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 tank. Oh, there's two screws of clear parts I didn't notice. Tank, tank. tank. It's got a lot of parts. These. Well, this for sure is truck parts. So let's go with what we know. All right, back of the truck, I'm guessing this is the engine bay, this is the back of the truck, doors, nice open vent right here, whatever it's for, windshield wipers separate, grab handles, very nicely done, looks like armrests, there's um, window cranks, Outside of the doors look good. These engine louvers, you can see that, they're open. Inside of the truck, you've got this beautiful padded backing. There are zero ejector pin marks in there. This looks like the grill. Like I said, this is probably the engine bay. Seat padding, or seat backs, seats. I'm thinking they put a lot of thought into this truck. Because the ejector pins are all well hidden. They've opened up everything that needs to be opened up. Very fine detail. No burring on the grab handles. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but no burring on the grab handles. And this one. It's either part of the truck or part of the trailer. There are two matching screws. So you've got wheel hubs. Wheel hubs for the trailers. More parts of the wheels. Caps, probably for the fuel tanks. Little bitty parts. I'm not sure what these two are. But just look at how detailed those wheel hubs are. Catch that detail. So good. And the wheel hubs. Parts of the frame. Again. No burring on the round parts. No burring on the sprues. Nicely done. Go through here real quick. Alright, let's start on some tank parts, and if we run into truck parts, we'll deal with that. Bottom of the hull. They package this stuff really well. Tacum. 2016 kit 2041. Nice detail in the bottom. 
nice connections for the wheels. Sorry, I'm not a tank expert. And it even has some nice detail in here, and there's ejector pin mark there. A couple more there. But there's just three inside of there. None on the sides, none on the bottom. Very nice lower hull for a tank. We got the turret. And the mat looks in here too. So, start with the turret. Can you see how it nicely cast textures on there? A weld seam right around there. Pretty big ejector pins there and there, but. Just knock them out of the way, but that cast, te cast texture and that weld seam, very nice. And a little rubbery type matlet cover. Yeah, sorry. Nice addition. Okay, we got hatch covers, we got the turret ring, we got drive sprockets, tow cable. A great big sprue with lots of little parts. Here's the plastic mantle cover, if you wanted to use that. Tour ring, one side, no ejector pin marks, other side, ejector pin marks, because it's going to be on top of the hull. I'm guessing this is the engine cover. Look at the detail right there. Great detail. Hatch covers. I'm not sure what those are. Tanks of some kind, maybe gas tanks. Look how delicate and tiny these parts are. And again, no burring. Look at how small, thin that part is right there. They're doing very good with their molding. Their texturing, so the detail on these parts here. They should be very proud of this tank. I do have a T55 somewhere, and I'm sure this is the same kit. But with this kind of detail, who can complain about building a second one? Okay, the one question I had was the gun barrel. Here it is in two, two parts. Another hatch, probably the commander's hatch. Cupola rings, I'm guessing. Looks like the base of the turret. Turret. More hatches and covers. Here's the gun barrel. You can always replace that with a metal one if you so desire. Depending on the fit, it may not need it. And all these other little parts, just like the last one. There, shed a little more light on the subject. There we go. Just check out some of the detail on those little parts. Tactum is definitely stepping up the armor game. If you're a dragon fan, you might want to step on over to Tactum. Plus, they're releasing some kits with a full interior. All right, I'm guessing these are more truck parts. Those we probably run across some. There's a fan for the engine. 
the axles, differentials, more engine parts, springs, I'm guessing this is the exhaust pipe, fan shroud, probably the muffler, here's the drive shaft, one of the drive shafts, there's one of the drive shafts, heater hoses or radiator hoses, I like how they did that fan. I built a lot of cars and I've never seen a fan look that good on a car like it. Can you see the detail on that? Nice. Both sides. They could teach car kits to car makers about detailing fans, that's for sure. So, we did find some more truck parts. Uh, let me check some more. Looks like we're done, but I could be wrong. Here's some parts for the top of the tank. Looks like the front of the tank. Hatch. Nice detailed wiring in there. I'm guessing these are the spare tracks you hang on the side of the tank. Fenders. More parts for the top. Looks like it's little holes you might have to drill out for adding things if you're going to. And side skirts, and you see, this is what I find confusing. And I'll show you what I mean by find confusing. Figure out open this bag. Maybe this is no resealable bag. Well, this one we looks like we got to cut open. And if I'm wrong, oh well, my kid. Sprue E. Look. They made the log in one whole round piece, but they can't make the gun barrel in her one whole round piece. Bummer, man. Side skirts, looking good. And I'm usually the kind that replaces the ditching, de ditching log with the real one from the backyard anyway. But still, why couldn't they make the gun barrel one piece? We're almost there. Or not. This looks like the reactive armor for the side. I'm hoping they intentionally meant to have that one at an angle so it's kind of damaged. Because it won't bend back into place. I'm pretty sure they did because all the rest of these are all really nicely done. sides so I'm guessing a lot of those holes you're open is if you're going to use this and we got guess what more truck parts I knew it's too good to be true these are trailer parts there's the fifth wheel Good detail on both sides. Various plates for the trailer. Looking like suspension parts. Rear bumper for the trailer. There you go, some more trailer parts. Let's see. And these are trucker trailer parts for both. Because in here you've got some more leaf springs. Very well detailed, both sides. And you've got all the rims for the wheels. I'm thinking these are the trailer wheels. Very good lug nut detailing inside 
And you've got your air brakes and your little doodads, gizmos, parts for lots of stuff, lots of tiny little details. And again, no flash, no burring. And the detail of those wheels, like I said, the lug nuts look spot on. All right. Now, while we're talking wheels, let's talk tank wheels. Looks like we got two matching screws in here. Drive sprockets. Those are loose. They're not loose on that one. Again, detail abounds. I don't know if they're supposed to have rubber on them or not. It didn't look like it. But detail on both sides. There's one side. The other side. Detail everywhere on these. Hey. Well, since it's opening these, these are the rubber wheel parts. Actually, we better because there's some good detail on there. Got the old trusty Swan Martin. I'm guessing that's a B, not a 13. But one piece rubber tires. There's a seam line or a seam line I've seen. I that's nice because you paint these and slip them on the outside. There's the lip right there. So if these are the rubber wheels, that's a nice way to do them. You won't have to mask off or use your circle template to paint those. Another gun barrel. Still in two pieces. The hatch, cupola. The little parts in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one is actually a resealable bag. How come two work and the rest work? There, I found something to nitpick tack them about. That and the two piece gun barrels, but a one piece ditching log. But the detail goes on and on. Smoke dischargers, I'm pretty sure. The detail on the underside of that is better than the detail on the top of it. Detail on that hatch. So I'm guessing there's multiple versions you can make of this. And... Machine gun, more hatches. Let's check out this machine gun here. It doesn't have a hollow barrel, but check out the suppressor on the front. It's nicely detailed and got good points in it. One piece machine gun. More parts that I'm not sure what they are, but the detail's good on them. And side skirts. Do we have two different kinds of side skirts, or do these go over the other ones, or are they two different versions? I do not know. But the detail on these is equally as nice. Maybe one sits for reactive armor and one sits for non reactive armor. You tank guys can tell me in the comments below. But nicely done. And I just love how their plastic is so firm and molded so nicely and crisp and sharp. Fuel barrel, tow hooks, 
two sprues of those. And the last gray sprue. Looks like it's got pads for the track. So, unless I'm mistaken, which I could be, these are pads for the tracks. And then these are just other parts that go on the tank. But you guys can tell me if I'm wrong. When you armor experts. Okay, we got rubber wheels, truck, trailer. Some of you don't like rubber wheels, some of you do. It depends on the situation, but these rubber wheels are outstanding. You can, if I could read Russian, I could read the writing on them, because there is writing on them. There is no seam line on them. And yeah, you're not going to be able to get a flat spot on them unless you work at it. Truck wheels are bigger. In nice Ziploc bags that I can't get open. I can't tell if it's a seam line or part of the tread pattern. But again, Russian writing that I can't read. Tire size and things. Good and squishy. So, is that a seam line or part of the tread? Either way, you're going to scuff the tire so it's a seam line. It won't be hard to remove. So, very nice tires. I'm not going to open the tracks because I didn't end up losing them, but any of you who've built a tank a Tacum kit know what the tracks are like, clicked together. I haven't built a Tacum tank yet, but I hear they're pretty good. And a sprue and a half of clear parts. We're not going to open these either because they're just flat. And they look really good. This is the windshield for the truck. Side windows for the truck, back window for the truck. It's very clear, no seam lines. And very good clarity. Wow, that's just the kit. We still have. Sorry about that. Instructions. Alright. I don't want to lose it, but there's the wire. And I'm guessing they said fuel line. Photo I just covered in plastic, but it seems pretty thin. It says Voyager Modeler on it, if you can read that. Some for the truck, some vents and stuff for the tank, and these look like trailer mud flaps and such. Little thing of decals, warning decals, license plates, markings. Now this is a one, this is actually one book divided into halves. We start with the truck and the trailer. Okay, there's the color callouts. Any marking guides. I do like the white and green one. 
There's the pink colors for that one. And the pink colors for that one. Two different versions. Here is the paints required. Ammo of mid colors. Okay. Applying decals, removing PE, basic safety instructions. Sprue map. This is for just the truck. Nope, the tank one's on here too. And more sprue maps. Start with the trailer frame. Adding some tanks, some other things. Putting the halves together. Start with, this is the truck frame you start with. Actually, no, it's not. These are railings for the trailer. See, they go right here. And then these parts, whatever they're for, there they are. These must be the ramps, maybe, to get the tank on the trailer. Yep, that's what it looks like back here. Ramps to get the tank on the trailer. Then the front fender parts for attaching it to the truck, the wheel parts. And more trailer parts. Putting the centers in the hubs, the hubs together. I guess I didn't see those pin parts, but they go on there. And you put these on for the trailer wheels. And they're dual axles. Dooleys on both sides. Let's see here. Then you got two spare tires. And the parts that hold them in place. Start with the engine. You can make that into a really nice engine. Single exhaust. Then you start putting the frame together with the engine in the middle. Axles, axles, springs, drum brakes it looks like, for the drive wheels. There's the frame rail together. Springs, rear axles, rear axles, front axle. sure what these parts are but oh it's a for the spare tire and the battery box Put all those parts on fuel tanks the air pressure canisters the fifth wheel part the fenders fenders on fifth wheel part on clear parts into the windshield and since they go on the outside you might be able to put them on after you paint it dash inside there four parts of the cab going together inside of the doors fender wells bucket seat for the driver bench seat for two passengers mirrors truck parts hood slash bonnet those vents for the I mentioned that were open headlights Cab goes on, nose goes on, rear bumper, actually that's the front bumper, sorry, wheels go on, and I may be wrong, the spatter wheels may be for the truck and the skinnier wheels are for the trailer. See, that's why we read directions, and that's what it looks like finished, without a tank on it. Start the tank with the lower hull. It shows you the holes to be opened up. The instructions for the tank are more cat-like than the instructions for the truck. Putting the wheels on, the drive wheels, the little parts for the suspension, the rest of the wheels, and as right, those are the road wheels. You put them together 
like that so you can paint these and paint the road wheels and put them all together I like that putting the top hole together and putting it on holes you need to drill out putting reactive armor on for one side make 92 track links so here's a track links 92 per side put those on side skirts with the tow cables and everything and so one of those was for the top of the tracks they weren't the side skirts that's where I went wrong and more parts more bits little parts there's the side skirts the reactive armor spare tanks louvers and vents I'm not sure what those are, but they go right there. Tracks. Again, more parts I don't know what they are. For the turret, if you're doing it with the MG, you need to open those holes. If you're doing it without the MG, you need to open other holes. Those were not rubber pads for the tracks. Those are more reactive armor plating for the turret. Now it goes on. The angle it should be at. Or maybe those are the Russian version. No, because there's the smoke deflectors here and you got to put those in individually, it looks like. That's what that one piece was. And putting more on the other side. Putting the hatches together. Lots of parts on the hatches. Putting the barrel together. The mantlet cover there's parts that go on it the dust cover and putting the turret together with the barrel a bunch of other parts very busy barrel there's the machine gun going together and going on and there's the turret going onto the tank with machine gun without machine gun this is a new 12.8 centimeter flat gun they're coming out with. There are two different paint schemes. I like the more colorful one. And a trailer paint scheme. And two more heavy weapons are coming out with. And that's it. Very long kit, a review, very big kit. And the best thing is, the price of this whole thing together was $63 from Sprue Brothers. $63 for that great tank, that great truck, and that great trailer. I remember buying the truck by itself and it was almost that much. So if you're into something like this, I would highly recommend it. Thanks for watching and sticking it out. Remember, don't be a kit collector, be a kit builder. This will get built. I don't care if this is limited edition or not. Start or finish a build today. Have some fun. Try something different. Thanks for watching. See you on the live show.